Imagine you are a sponge full of water and all you've ever done is drain yourself into the glass below. And see, once that glass is full, guess what? It doesn't pour back into you. But what it does do is demand that you keep on draining. You're like, there's nothing left. And it does not care. Well, this is what it's like to be the parent of a narcissistic child. No matter what you do, they keep asking for more. There's no return on the investment. And maybe it was because that their other parent was a complete narcissist and was very abusive to them. Or maybe you overcompensated for what you felt that they didn't have. Okay. And then, you know, you gave too much. You don't really know. But what you do know is they only reach out to you when they need something, right? See, never asking about you because they don't care. And like clockwork, you get that message, don't you? That text message from your 30 something year old child asking you for money again, talking about, Hey, I'm broke. Can you send me $500 ASAP? And guess what? Don't make this a whole thing. I don't need no lectures. Just send the money, okay? And here we go again. Sense of entitlement. The No gratitude. No affection whatsoever. And if you ever dare say no, <laughs> you say no if you want to, okay? You're going to be made to feel guilty. Oh, you're the worst parent ever. But no responsibility taken on, you know, the, on their end. You know, they're always the victim. Always justifying their behavior because... They claim you did this to them. You made them this way. You were never there for them. And they know this is your pain point. And if they keep hitting it, guess what? You going to give in. So does all this mean your child is a narcissist? Well, here are some behaviors that you can key in on. If you are unable or if your child, I'm sorry, is unable to feel any empathy for anyone else, no matter how much pain they're in. If you're on fire, they wouldn't even spit on you. They'd step right around you and say, you're in my way. Do they have to always have all the intention? And if they don't, they become totally disruptive until they do. Are they unable to take responsibility for their behavior by always playing the victim? Do they punish you with silent treatment, guilt trips, rage, and other manipulative tactics until you give them what they want? If they display these characteristics, your child may very well be a narcissist. And you have to ask yourself a very serious question, which is how long do you let them completely drain you before putting up boundaries? And the boundaries look like this. Say no to their ridiculous requests and abusive behavior. And you have to require mutual respect. Scripture tells us, honor your father and mother so that your days may be long on the earth. And see, the reality is there can be no interaction until these terms can be adhered to because you can't because if you do, you just allow them to disrespect you. All right. And so I do hear you saying, Doc, but you got to understand that's my baby. That's my child. Well, have you looked at them lately? Because they're not a baby. <laughs> OK. And listen, how much do you care about yourself? This thing is killing you. You can't go on like this. All right. So listen, if you need help with it, please go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. Schedule your free 30 minute consultation. Why? So you and I can have that conversation. And I'm going to tell you how coaching is going to help you set boundaries with your adult child. All right. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share. Take care. Peace.